faith, land, oil. Wars are fought for any number of reasons, but on the battlefield, every soldier has to find his own. As things turned out, me and my buddies found a pretty interesting one. to the 222nd Army Battalion, to B Company, where they rake together all the leftovers and troublemakers deemed expendable by the Army. They call it Bad Company, a mismatched bunch of rejects placed to serve our country as cannon fodder. My name is Preston Marlowe. They could have thrown me in jail for what I did, but instead, they transferred me here. This is my story. Private Preston Marlowe reporting for duty, sir. You sure you're in the right place? I believe so, sir. People have died now. Did I say 22? Oh, then... This is B Company, right? Yep, sure is. But you want to cut out that sir, yes sir crap? I'm a sergeant, not the goddamn president. Okay, sorry, sir. I mean, sergeant. Yeah, whatever. That one over there, his name is Sweetwater. Hey, welcome to the sandbox. His name is Hacker. Hey, how you doing? You smell very clean. My name's Redford. You can call me that. Or Sarge. We're all in this mess together now. Right, Sarge. Do you know what squad I'm supposed to belong to? A new guy trying to smell, like a brand new toy. Yeah, I'll give you three to two. He's dead by Friday. Sarge? You can ride with us. New guy. New guy. Okay. Pete, I'm due to go home in three days. But you best get to know the others. Packet over here, he's a natural born demolition expert. What? I just like it when stuff blows up. Yeah, and that's just fine as long as it's the enemy stuff. Yeah, the tree water. But if you ever need somebody to talk a hole in your head, guess who you got? That's a cheap shot. I don't really talk that much. Shut up. Bravo one, Charlie. This is Mike One Juliet. Over. Oh, uh, listen, it's the new dispatch girl, Miss July. Mike One Juliet, this is Bravo One, Charlie. Over. You are to move up ahead of the convoy to scout the terrain. I'll get back to you with further orders. Out. Oh, uh, she's got a real nice voice. Sweet one. Check it out. It's Calvary. Yeah. Isn't it amazing how we always go towards the fighting and they're always flying in the opposite? I hope those are our guns. It's a beautiful sound either way. Isn't that ah, more? Typical. Quick, you're wide and sweet. About time we got some action. Look at the new guy. He's. Oh, look. look. The new guy's dead. dead. Already? Already? I was just I was about, about to learn his name. name. I think it was probably Joe. Usually is. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Over. Uh, the dulcet tones of Miss July. Mike One Juliet, this is Bravo One Charlie. Over. We're getting some heavy shelling from grid 641. You've got to go ahead to take out the artillery base. Out. You heard the lady. We're taking the artillery base. That's not playing it very safe. My middle name is not safe. Well, actually, it's uh, Gordon, but... Uh... Bravo One Charlie. Are the artillery guns still intact? Juno convoy hit some trouble down by the bridge. Over. Mike One Juliet, you want us to use the enemy guns? Over. Affirmative. Bracket the hostiles by the bridge, boys, but be advised. We've got friendlies in the area. Out. I ain't gonna do it. 
If I hit our guys, y'all gonna yell at me. Hey, crazy idea part two. Let the new guy do it. Good one. Bravo one, Charlie. This is Mike One Juliet. Juno Convoy needs an alternative route. The bridge is shot to hell. Now there's a river crossing up ahead that'd be perfect. You boys go sweep away the bugs. Over. Okay, we're on it, Mike One Juliet. Out. Mike One Juliet, this is Bravo One Charlie, over. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Great work at the River Passage, boys. I've got a new job for you straight away. You are go for Objective Mustang, over. Could you tell her I said hi? Objective Mustang, affirmative, out. Okay, listen up, boys. There's a farm due west, possibly held by Russian forces. We're going to scout it and clear out any hostile. Do you hear that? I thought I heard something. Is this another joke about me talking too much? Because if it is, I can tell you that... That's right. It's coming from the barn. Oh, crap! Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. You've got air support inbound. Stay low and wait for the bird. Out. Bravo One Charlie, this is Super 6-5. I'm inbound to your AO. Hang tight. Out. Got a visual on the LZ. Stand clear. Out. Here's a 6-5. I'm hit. I'm hit. Uh, hell. 6-5. having trouble getting an evac chopper to your position, so you're going to have to keep working for a while. What's your status? Over. We're good to go. Over. We are rerouting your squad to deal with the anti-air battery at Objective Impala. This is your new objective. Out. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Over. This is Bravo One Charlie Actual. Over. Great work on those AA guns. Not quite time to kick back yet, though. The trucks you spotted seem to be headed for a farm to the east. It may be a supply dump, and if you're still in the fight, you're our best shot to take it out. Over. Yeah, yeah, we've got it. Over. Then you are go for Objective Bronco. Out. Okay, guys. It seems we've got another farm to secure before I can leave for that fishing trip. Buckle up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Here comes the cavalry. What took you so long? He got held up in traffic? Good job, guys. We're moving out with the convoy. Let's go. Michael Juliet, this is Bravo One Charlie. We're getting killed out here. Over. Bravo One Charlie, that be the artillery at Objective Taurus. Stand by for air support. We'll clear that right up. Out. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Uh, they're jamming Air Force weapon systems in... I keep you radar trailers. You get those, and we'll airmail you some fireworks. Over. Roger. We're mobile. Out. All right. You heard the lady. Bravo One, Charlie. Objective Taurus is a go. Stand clear of kill box and wait for the fireworks. This is 07 at 12 miles now, bearing 270 Angel Street. <laughs> Bravo One Charlie, hope you enjoyed the show. Juno Convoy is rolling again. Good job, boys. Now move in and clear out remaining hostiles. Out. This is Bravo One Charlie Actual, reporting success on Objective Taurus. Over. You've done great, Sergeant. And you're all still there? Over. Actually, I think we've lost Sweetwater. Come again? Over. Dismiss that. Out. Sweetwater! Sorry, Sergeant. I'm over here, Sarge! And I think you'd all better get in here. Boy, this better be good. <coughs> Damn smoke. You haven't gone and hurt yourself, have you? If they ship you home as well, I'll be alone with the new guy. Uh, <laughs> come here. Take a look at this. Not Russian? Nope. We got ourselves a mercenary. One of the Legionnaires, no less. Whoa, the Legionnaire? I thought that was just a spook story. Nah, he's real. Got his own damn army. Some say the deadliest in the world. 
Now look at this. Acta non verba. That's the Legionnaire's motto. It's Latin, and it means action, not words. Hang on, I was at the Taco Emporium. I think you'll find that Spanish. Oh, just shut up. Then your motto should be verba non acta, because you never shut the hell up. Let's get out of here. Uh, you, you should listen, Sarge. Knowledge is power. For example, rumor says he always pays in gold bars. I'll just check uh, for a pulse in his pockets. Well, slap me hard and call me Eldorado. Okay, Eldorado, let's have a look. Whoa, whoa, finders, keepers, out the no, So, that's how it started. We found this little piece of gold. To people with less moral fiber, that might have posed a problem. But we're all men of duty. So, when the sergeant said the gold belonged to the army, we all agreed and got back to work. With Uncle Sam being so busy with the war and all, and the gold bar being so small, we thought it was best if we held on to it for him, splitting it four ways. Not that everybody was happy with that arrangement. Well, maybe it won't buy you a whole truck, but you can start with the hubcaps and build from there. Shut your trap, Sweetwater. Oh, we're going to Zavagrad, huh? Nice place? Just 20 clicks behind enemy line. Important harbor. The army's launching on offensive, and we're going to be the first ones to go in. Haven't they got guys specially trained for that? Well, we're going in before them. They're too expensive to waste. Yeah, that makes sense. Weren't you supposed to be shipping home about now, Sarge? Tomorrow, Haggard. One more day of this shit, and the only thing I'm going to be fighting a blue mark. Yeah, I hear you, Sarge. Next up, the Caribbean. Well, after Zabograd. Zabograd a ding dong. Hey, sweets, ain't this the same fancy thing that was on that dead guy? Actor non verba. Yep, sure is. Let's check it out. Could be a trap. Hey, new guy, you check it out. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Over. This is Bravo One Charlie Actual. Over. You are go for objective backfield. Out. Okay, listen up, guys. Our armored division is moving in, and our job is to cut off Russian supply lines before they get here. Let's get ready. This is the plan. We hit the weapons depot first. Once we have that area secured, we regroup and we move on to the fuel dump. Excuse me, Sarge, wouldn't it be easier to do it the other way around? Or, or we could split up into teams and take them both at the same time. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Or I could shoot the two of you and do this thing along with Marlo. Uh, okay, we'll do it your way. You're the boss. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. We have a Russian advance team approaching the bridge. They're your priority target. You cannot let them control the bridge. Over. Mike One Juliet, we spread real thin down here. How about some air support? Over. Bravo One Charlie, negative on support request. I've got nothing for you right now. Can you deal with the situation? Over. Yeah, we can deal. Out. I hate being dependable. Sarge, see that thing over there? I think it's a Russian mortar guidance system. Interesting. Bet we can use it against them. Hell of a bet, Sarge. Hell of a bet. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Looks like you were too late, Sergeant. They made the call. More hostiles inbound. Over. We moved as quickly as we could. Over. You're supposed to go home tomorrow, Sergeant. This is no time to start making mistakes. I need you to get your act. What was that? Bravo One Charlie, you've got a new priority order. We have a downed tank in the city square. I need you to find a good defensive position and protect it until our engineers can get it out. You hear me, Sergeant? Over. Roger that. Any further information about what they're throwing at us? Over. No intel on that. I'm sure he'll find out. Out. We're on it. Out. You heard her. We go to the square and we try to get a visual on that tank. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. The enemy is evacuating a large weapons cache. Should be a good opportunity for the final push on the harbor. And try not to screw up this time around. Out. Harboring? You think there might be some mercenaries down there? 
Why? Because you think they may have some gold? Yeah. Let's go. Look. They're leaving. All of them. We actually did it. You think we're gonna get that transfer? I don't know, but you've deserved it. Yeah, right. Hey, check it out. Down by those trucks. Those are mercs, right? Looks like them. Shouldn't we stomp them? You know, uh, ask some questions, maybe search them? Our orders are to secure this area, so I guess... What? No, hang on. Well, what happened to not taking any chances? What about playing it safe? These guys could be dangerous, and you're going home tomorrow, remember? This will only take a minute. Dead, dead, all right. Come on, Haggard, can we get back to the others now? Nothing. Not even a nugget. Where are they going so fast? Them, you imbecile! I know what I'm doing. This is a shortcut. You know what you do. You know what you do. If I had a penny for every time you said that, I wouldn't be needing this gold. Didn't we just? Those are the trucks. I told you it was a shortcut. They're crossing the border now. We can't follow them any farther. Where did the hackers go? There's gold in them other hills! Shit, that's a neutral zone. Hacker, fall back! He can't hear you, Sarge. If he could, he wouldn't listen. I hate to say this, but we have to go and get him back. Do we, do we, do we really have to go and get him back? I mean, have to? Move out. So... Haggard had pretty much single-handedly invaded a neutral country. Not the best move. Is this your idea of fun, Haggard? Well, yeah. May I ask you why? The gold! Didn't you see it? I mean, Sweetwater can never swallow a piece that big. Just shut it, Hag. Give me one good reason that I should not send your ass to jail. Well, because you love me, Sarge. In a plutonic way. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet, over. Mike One Juliet, this is Bravo One Charlie, over. I hope you have a very good explanation for this, Sergeant, over. It was my call. We had to, you know, retaliate a hostile. You know, a threat, over. Just get yourselves back to base, over. That's fine with me. I was planning to go fishing anyway, over. You're facing court martial. I don't think you're going to go anywhere for at least nine to 12 months. Out. Shit. That was bad, wasn't it? That was bad. It was bad, Hags. It's about as bad as anything we've ever done. Whatever no. you've done, it's as bad as that. Not like Chris Christopherson's third album. Oh, bad. Worse. Worse. Oh, no way! Let me think, let me think. So, where does this leave us? We're here, ain't we? What? Where'd those trucks go? Oh, no, no, Sarge, you can't be serious! Yes, I am. What? You want to go after the gold? I'll never get any medal from the army, will I? You guys coming or what? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that this is happening for the right reasons. Gold sweets, 24 carats. What kind of motivation do you need? What do you think, Preston? Hell, I guess I could use a couple million, same as everybody else. Ah, uh, guys, wait up! He's covered! Soldiers of Pico, lay down your arms. You are in breach of army regulation. Lay down your arms, or we will take you by force. Yeah? Says you in what army? What? I just always wanted to say that. Why? Sounds cool. Really shut him up. You shut up. Look around. That arm. Say goodbye to the gold. 
So, I wonder what jail's gonna be like. I hear the food's pretty good. Yeah, I got a feeling the food is gonna be the least of my problems. Dropping the soap is what I'm worried about. I hate that. It's all mush in your hands. You can't grab it. Slip you two, just shut up. Even though Sadaristan was officially neutral, military intelligence was suspicious and dying to get a closer look. The four of us, already officially AWOL, just happened to fit the bill. Instead of sending us to prison, they gave us an offer that, you know. So, explain this one more time. First, they're angry with us for going into Sadaristan, but then they send us back in. They want us to find Zavomir Sadar. Zavomir, sir, did you say? Zavomir Sadar, father of the people, local dictator and all-around creep. Officially, he's neutral, but he's been playing both sides in the war for a very long time. Maybe his luck ran out. Anyway, we're here to persuade him to come in with us, all undercover style. So, now we can go in and, and no one's gonna mind. Officially, the army's got nothing to do with this. If anyone catches us, we're still AWOL. Now, let's find that observation point. Is that a golf course? Of course it's a golf course. That's what dictators do. Build things they really don't need while their people starve. Hey, there's our job. It's flying really close to those bases, though. Ah, it shouldn't be a problem. Officially, they're on a search and retrieve mission. The Daristan guys won't touch it. I don't know. I have a bad feeling about this. Shit. Oh, shit! Shit! Mike 1 Juliet, this is Bravo 1 Charlie. Looks like these guys ain't neutral anymore. Over. Bravo 1 Charlie, this is Mike 1 Juliet. We know. We know. Now get moving and find Sadar and... Yeah, but how do we get him out without an extraction bird? Over. I was getting to that. There are three enemy SAM sites. You take those out, you'll get your extraction chopper. Eventually. Roger. Out. Okay! Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Looks like you've stirred up a hornet's nest. We're seeing a whole lot of activity around the palace. Over. We're not exactly equipped for all-out war here. Over. There's a supply station close to your current location. I'm uploading the coordinates. Get over there and stock up. Over. Affirmative. Out. You heard her. Let's go shop. Fresh mon jam, you. How did you want to get you pull out here? Put a jam, bin peel list, the piggy. Finish one yard, watch me yard. Uh, he thinks we're not being nice. Something about an enema, I think. Uh, and he doesn't want to come. Oh, uh, he done pissed me off. What you, uh, somebody translate this for me. What you really want isn't the question here. Yeah, I, I got it. Uh, Presidentia. Um, yeah, e Excellentia. Let me try. Your Excellency, Mr. Uh, Presidentskov. Haggard, no, you, you don't speak, sir. Just shut up. <laughs> I am in no need of witless translation. My English is wholly immaculate, my Well, then you'll have no problem understanding this. We have come to bring you in. Bring you in? Just you? Just us. <laughs> Four puny military. Four puny military. Damn it, Haggard. Four puny military. is no invasion. He's trespassing. Mike One Juliet, this is Bravo One Charlie. We have the package. Repeat, we have the package. Request immediate extraction. Over. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Leave the package. Repeat, leave the package. And you're not going to like this, Sergeant, but extraction is denied. Over. Denied? What do we have to do to get the bird here? Over? I hate to tell you this, boys, but it's not gonna happen. We're going for deniability. You're on your own. Over. What do you mean we're on our own? How do we get out? Over? Any way you can. This isn't my call, boys. There's nothing I can do. They're telling me to cut you loose. I'm sorry. Out. So it's like that, then. Fellas, they're leaving us hanging out to dry. Ah, shit. Now we're never getting out of here. I may have means for our escape. Our escape? 
I'm afraid the father of Sadarishtan people now has no other recourse than exile. It was a mistake to request the services of these mercenaries. Hang on a minute. The Legionnaire is holding you here? Well, since I could not deliver the amount of gold he requested, he has appropriated my nation. But I will prevail. The Sadarishtan people will rise up and demand the return of their beloved father. This guy's funny when he's in a hallucinogenic rage. And what's more, he may come in handy. Yeah, right, like tits on a bull. Well, just sit up already and tell us how to get out of here. Now, this is state with transportation for VIP. Quite improper for your unhygienic smelly bum bums. What about the unhygienic decor? I mean, is that a mirror ball? Although I have to confess, a hot tub is a very nice touch. Now, let me see how you fly this. Hold on. Get out of that seat. No fun. Preston, show us your stuff. Preston, you the man. I'll give it a shot. So there we were, crammed in a pimped out Russian hind with a megalomaniac and a rack full of bad CDs. Left to die by our superiors, and with the world's deadliest army using us for target practice. It wasn't the first time I'd flown a chopper, but the circumstances were sorta of special. Oh, golden helicopter! She's crippled like a wingless swan! Oh, as a boy I had a swan! Masha was her name! Oh, God, shut up, El President! Hey, that felt pretty good. Sheriff, the two of you. Preston, we need to set the bird down and repair it. Okay, guys, get the bird refueled and let's get her up in the air. I'll do it. I'll do it, Sarge. We'll be out of here in no time. Well, don't get me wrong, I want to get out of here too, but where are we going exactly? Not to worry. Around next bend is beautiful Polio Lower National Bridge. He's named for my mother. A bridge? A bridge to where? Oh, to Russia. To Russia? We don't want to go to Russia. I am devastated to inform you that there is no alternative unless we want to stay in the vicinity of my once loyal troops. Speaking of this... Oh, shit! Here they come! Pack the food on! Oh, no. We are leaving beautiful Sedaris, Dad. And this is where you're getting off. For an exile, it is quite inadequate. I'm in need of further transportation. Well, where we're going, you can't come. Yeah? But where exactly are we going? You've got a short memory, Sweetwater. I know. The gold. You're talking about the gold. But we don't know where they took it. With all the mercs around here, I bet we can find out. You are talking about the gold of Treacherous Legionnaire. <laughs> I know where it is. You know where it is? Yes, yes, of course. And I am sure we can come to some agreement. Oh, yeah. You hear that, sweet? Yeah. But I'd like to come to some agreement about the black chopper coming up behind us. What? Shit! Marlo! Turn her around! Hang on! <laughs> to be better ways to start a new career. But you know what they say about hitting the bottom? It really, really hurts. Mike 1 Juliet, this is Bravo 1 Charlie. Over. Mike 1 Juliet, this is Bravo 1 Charlie. Everyone's gone. I think they've been taken. I don't know what to do. Please advise, over. Is anyone there? Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet, over. Oh, you're back. Can you help me out, over? Officially, we're denying all knowledge about your trip to Sadaristan. As 
far as command is concerned, you're AWOL as well as dead. But I just can't quit on my boys, over. You don't know how glad I am to hear that. Do you have a location fix on me, over? Looks like Russia to me, over. I think my squad's been taken prisoner. Can you send someone to help me out, over? Negative. This is strictly extracurricular. Listen, I can see you on the satellite, and I'll try to help, but you can't contact me, understand? Over. I got you. Over. I'm picking up radio signals from a village near your position, some kind of military installation. I think you should look for your boys there. Out. Thank you, Miss July. Hey, buddy. Now, we thought you were dead for sure. What are you doing here? Uh, looking for you. So, you came to rescue us. That's great, man. I mean, well, not really necessary, but thanks anyway. Yeah, you're welcome. Glad to have you back, Marlo. But we need to get out of here before the enemy regroup. Yeah, we got to try and find this uh, Sirdar fella, because he knows where the gold is. Have you seen him? Do you know where he is? Not really, no, but Haggard figures if we just stumble around the monastery for a while thinking happy thoughts, maybe we'll run into him. I mean, that is the plan, right, Haggard? I wouldn't have put it exactly like that, but yep, pretty much. Bravo one, Charlie. This is Mike one, Juliet. Are you still with me, Marlo? Any luck finding the others? Over. Oh, he's had a little bit of luck. Over. We're all here. How you doing yourself? I swear, you are from sweetvoices.com. I know it. Yeah, she told you, Haggard. Since you asked, I am fine, thank you. And I'm very glad to hear you're all back together. Over. We're trying to locate Sirdar. You got an idea where they might be holding him? Over. I don't know, but there's a lot of activity down by the river mouth. Maybe you should check there. Over. Okay, Mike, want you to get stay in touch. Over. I'll do my best. Hey, that's the same chopper that brought us down at the border. Yeah, and I have a pretty good idea who it belongs to. Look, it's the president. It seems your American friends have escaped. They won't get far. Those imperialist pigs are not my friends. You tried to escape from your debts, and they helped you. It was no escape, but an abduction. Most fine. I realize now that I will never get the gold you owe me. I will forget about your death and take your country instead. <laughs> Absolutely. Not a problem. I will go into exile, live a quiet life. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Kill him. I will not beg for my life. Something smarty pants? Ah, uh, both you motor mouths. Shut up. Just follow me. Ah! It's a miracle. I'm not dead. Hello, your highness. Remember us, Pookums? Yes, yes. Imperialist pigs. Uh, very nice. Just shut up already. Let's take that boat. The father of the Sadaristan people put us back on track. He told us that the gold was in the Legionnaire's tanker, in Cadiz, the diamond of the Caspian Sea. Well, it could have been if they had finished building it. And the president himself? He got the exile he had wished for. Yes, yes. Hmm. Harsh, <laughs> but fair. Hey, guys, look. Here it is. Yeah. I told you we'd see that boat again. It's a Legionnaire, all right. Well, at least we're in the right place. So, how are we going to do this? We're going to have to take the long way around. Let's start by securing the beach. Bravo one, Charlie. This is Mike one, Juliet. Did you boys take a wrong turn? You're in Cadiz, over? No, we're KIA, remember? 
What we're doing is nobody's business anymore. Over. I guess you're right, but you're making it awfully hard for me to help you, and Sadiz is a hornet's nest. Over. Sarge, tell her. You remember when I hung up on you back in Sadaristan? We were on the track of some gold. The Legionnaire's gold, if that means anything to you. Over. I've heard the stories. Over. We've got some pretty good intel saying it's here. We're gonna try to grab it. Over. Things being what they are, I can't really blame you. But be advised, U.S. forces are moving into the area. Looks like it might be quite a brawl, so watch out for friendly fire. Over. <laughs> I don't even know which fire is friendly anymore. Over. And hey, don't you boys forget me if you hit the mother load. Out. Just tell me your favorite color, baby! Offensive, and the first wave will reach your position in a couple of minutes. We're gonna secure the bridges to the south, and then we should be able to take the rest of town pretty easily. Watch out for friendly fire. Out. Shit. The U.S. assault is coming this way. If they catch up with us, we're never gonna be able to get that gold. She said something about bridges, right? If we blow those, maybe you can hold them long enough to get to the ship. You wanna stop the U.S. advance? Wouldn't that be, like, treason? I'm not saying stop it. I'm saying hold it off for a while. Not the same thing. Oh, I think it'd be enough to get us executed. As far as the army's concerned, we're already dead, remember? And Haggard's right. We gotta blow those bridges. Mercenaries. Great. So now we're fighting the mechs, the mercenaries, our own boys. Hey, wouldn't it be great if the Russians showed up too? We're not gonna get past. We've gotta create some kind of diversion. Haggard, you up for it? Can I bring Preston? Yeah, the two of you draw their attention, and Sweets and me will see if we can find that gold. So, it wasn't a spook story. Oh, no! Look at it! <laughs> Please! It's true. It's true. Tons of gold. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Well, I'll be dead. I really didn't want to ruin the moment, but we had no idea how we were going to get the gold out of there. And the bad guy was still, you know, alive and kicking. Come on! We need to get out! Don't get You want me to make a plan for you? Maybe I do! We need a bigger gun! I think I know where to find one! Follow me, but fast! I think we lost them. You think? Was that your idea of a plan? Oh, just sip it, you two. Now it's payback time. You sound tense, Sarge. You sleeping all right? I don't know, Haggard. I'm really impressed with the Sarge's mastered use of the leadership cliche. Oh, just shut up, fools. Here it comes. It's coming around again. you wait in this squad. Heck yeah, you can watch my back any day. Yeah, not bad for a new guy. Well, guys... Hey, let's just get back to the gold. It's been great to finally become a part of... Hey, guys, anyone actually thought about how we're gonna get the gold out of here? There you go again. Negative, negative, negative. Have you got any idea how heavy it's gonna be? We're gonna be the richest GIs in the world. Can't you just smell the coffee and be happy about that? Shut it, Haggard. I guess it was too good to be true. Look what your negative thoughts brung us. Oh, so this is all my fault? Doesn't matter. We blew it. Let's just get out of here before they spot us. Soldiers! What are you waiting for? Sir, uh, uh, we're a group of highly, uh, embedded... Uh... Sir, the area is secure. 
Just waiting for new orders, sir. Take that truck and follow the convoy. The, uh, the, that truck, sir? Yeah, that truck full of, uh, scrap metal. Move out! Sir, sir yes, sir! Wars are fought for any number of reasons. Sometimes, if the ones they give you aren't good enough, you have to find your own. And, maybe, if you're lucky, you get out in one piece. But in the end, I guess it's really about the guys next to you. Trachosaurus Rex, here I come! Grad school, here I come! Woohoo! Let's go fishing!